What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Now, today's video is just going to be a little bit of a chat because I put a post up on my Instagram last night and in the caption I kind of just talked about how I have kind of reset some of my priorities, some of my daily non-negotiables and just basically given myself some accountability of things that I want to make sure that I'm factoring into my day factoring into my week and factoring into this new month that align with helping my physical and mental health. In the caption, I asked you guys if you wanted me to chat through in more detail all of the things that I was doing and kind of why I was doing them and just chat a little bit more because it was really difficult to get it across in one short Instagram caption. So that is what this video is all about. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the five things that I'm doing right now to prioritize my physical and mental health. These are my daily non-negotiables, okay? The things which have to happen every day without fail. Now, I don't know about you, but a new month makes me feel like a new woman. There's something about it that I feel like it's a fresh start. It's a fresh month. There's 30 or 31 days ahead of us that I can do whatever I want with. So I find the new month is the perfect time to sit and recenter my thinking. It's my time to sit down, take a step back and actually just look at what I want to focus on for the next month. Now for you, this might just be reminding yourself of a goal you already have and you just need to remind yourself that that needs to be coming up to the top of that priority list. It might be breaking that big goal down into some smaller goals which you can work through as daily non-negotiables which are all gonna add up towards that bigger goal. You know where I'm going with this. There are so many different things that you can do. The list is endless, but the main thing that I think is important is stopping taking note and just resetting that focus. And that's exactly what this video is just gonna chat through what I've done. So the first thing that I am really prioritizing is moving my body in a way that makes me feel good and it makes me feel strong. Now this isn't a new non-negotiable, okay? It really isn't. It's one that's been around for a long time in my to-do list, but it is one that I feel like when things get busy, when it gets to summer like it is now and there's things to do, socially distance things to do, it's really easy for those priorities to kind of slip. And for me, I just wanted to remind myself how good that daily movement is for both my physical and mental health, okay? So feeling strong physically for me is doing things like my weightlifting sessions. You guys have seen them over on my Instagram. That's really the most empowering way I can move my body in a way that makes it feel strong and it is incredible. But also things like yoga I love doing which help me feel mentally strong and I just want to set some time aside every day to do a little bit of movement whether it's a walk, a weightlifting session, a little bit of yoga. That little chunk of time is for me and it's prioritizing making me feel good inside and out. There are lots of tips you can use which can help you prioritize that chunk of time into your day. For me it's making sure Sure that at the beginning of the day I sit down and decide when it is gonna happen okay I make that commitment at the beginning of the day that it's either gonna happen in the morning at lunchtime or in the evening and I set a time I cannot tell you how important this is particularly where everything is a little bit strange right now and we're all in a little bit of a weird routine still it's super important to give yourself that structure Give yourself that commitment. It's a non-negotiable commitment to me. Today it happened at 10.30. The next thing that I'm prioritizing and wanting to focus on is being okay with stillness and slowness. That sounds super weird, but let me explain. I'm somebody that is constantly kind of like, go, go, go. I work super hard and I work way too much and I do realize that that is not the best way, not only just for my mental and physical health, but it's also just not the best way for me to show up as the best version of me each day. If I'm constantly doing this, doing that, the list is endless. So being okay with stillness is actually super difficult for me. I find it really hard to stop, take a step back, have some chill time, have some quiet time, and just be okay with being slow and being still. So that's on my priority list for the next couple of weeks. It's my daily non-negotiable and for me there are two things within that that I want to focus on so the first one is my daily meditation 10 minutes a day it is super simple to do it's just on an app on my phone it's so easy and the second is just mindfulness so just being with my thoughts 
sitting with my thoughts and just being mindful of the present moment. Okay, so the next one is a similar kind of vibe and that is journaling. So this is actually an upgrade of my journal from the one I showed in my morning routine a couple of videos ago. And the main reason being was I just wanted space to be able to write my own things. I didn't really like the prescribed headings of the other journal which had prompts already written into it. This is totally blank and I can just sit down and write whatever I'm feeling that morning. I've made the commitment to be doing this every single morning. It is the best best way in my opinion to start the day i write down three things i'm grateful for i write down three things i want to remind myself of that day so that could be just saying hun you're doing incredible you've got this let's go it could be something completely different and then i also just sit down and write everything that i'm feeling some days that might be nothing some days i might not want to write anything at all but other days i want to sit and i want to pour my heart out and that pen and paper is my outlet to do that. Finally, I always finish with a daily affirmation. That's just something to say out loud several times that day that really reminds me and centers me and makes me feel great. Okay, number four is to prioritize my nutrition and fuel myself with foods that make me feel good inside and out. This sounds like a big open vague one, but it's not. And it kind of continues from a lot of the conversations that I've been having in previous foodie what I eat in a day videos. But basically making sure that I prioritize my nutrition. I prioritize filling my body with foods that are gonna make it perform well, they're gonna make me feel good, they're gonna make me feel strong mentally, physically, and it's just this ongoing cycle of success. And it all starts with me, with making sure I'm getting a good amount of fuel in my body, I'm focusing on whole foods, nutrient-dense foods, and just those foods that are gonna make me feel good. So prioritizing my nutrition, making that commitment to myself, making that commitment to the next couple of weeks and this month, focusing on some yummy recipes, trying different things, meal prepping, ingredient prepping, blowing some new sections of the grocery store maybe. There are so many different options and that might look totally different to everybody but that is just something which I really want to focus on and it does kind of carry on from previous foodie videos. The fifth and final thing that I'm focusing on and which I've made a daily non-negotiable intention with is to set myself some work life boundaries okay your girl needs some rules because otherwise things get a little bit out of control i love my phone we all love our phones okay but i know and i have known for a long time that i need some boundaries okay because otherwise i'm on it a lot so I found this function within my iPhone and some of you guys might be way ahead of me on finding this but I'd seen people talk about screen time and I was like, yeah, whatever. I don't need that. I'm an independent woman. I don't need anyone to tell me when to put my phone down. I can do this. Boy, was I wrong because I've tried setting boundaries. I've tried saying no phone after 9 p.m. and it just does not work, okay? So the screen time little function in the settings on my iPhone allows me to set a boundary, okay? So it means that I can set from certain hours of the day, apps are not accessible. And that is really helpful. So when it gets to nine o'clock, all my apps except my messages and my, well, my messages and my WhatsApp are disabled, okay? So mum can still text me, that's important. <laughs> And that boundary doesn't reopen the gates until nine o'clock the next morning. So there is a full evening chunk and morning chunk, which is totally phone free and totally phone protected. The reason why I wanted to do this before bed was just to allow myself to really unwind on my own, take some time away from it. The morning segment is more about making sure that I am just giving myself that time to properly wake up of my own accord, energize myself, feel good, feel how I'm gonna show up, be a good person and start that day in a good way before everyone else's drama and comments and notifications and to-do lists come piling onto me. So for me, I just think prioritizing those two little segments of my day right at the end and right at the beginning help me finish the days in a positive, winding down way and also start the day in a totally me-focused, free, open headspace without any stress or any notifications. Right guys, that is it. Those are my five tips. All I've done is sit here and chat, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Do make sure you hit like and subscribe 
if you did down below. It helps support my channel and it helps let me know that you guys did enjoy the video. I'm hoping there's going to be another video up for you guys maybe on Sunday. So I would definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.